Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Tower. Last time when we left off I was uh, very rudely ambushed by some blue wyverns and uh, bone wolves on this entrance platform. I kind of had to wait for, well not wait, I had to, I had to deal with those before we could uh, move along, but we are in the Death World Gate of the Dead, which is the second to last area in the entire game. It's here where we will fight the Hallow Mage, the ruler of the Death World. Once we beat him, all that's left is to go to the Void and confront the final bosses. So this will also be the second to last episode of Shadow Tower. Okay, those stairs are going to take me to the boss, so... We'll go there last. We've got two other platforms to clear. Not a terribly big deal. And I really don't need to worry about item conservation at this point anymore either, which is kind of fun. I probably will anyway, just sort of reflexively, but... Hello. I almost got wrecked because my fucking computer did a pop-up ad about my Galaxy phone. And I'm just like, eat shit. Do I not seem busy to you? I love my ins... Of my absolutely insane critical hit chance and critical hit damage. Take my advice. If you're playing Shadow Tower, stack speed. Alright. Well, that's my signal that my Shadow Tiger's durability is running low. Let's jump over to our great swords. Which one is the Fiery Greatsword, the Deadly Greatsword, or the Guardian Greatsword. Let's do the Deadly. It's got the highest damage and the highest speed slash critical chance to boot. I'm going to fight a total of four of these things. So I've killed one. Just have to be very, very careful of the edges of the platforms. Walking off the edges is how we die in this zone. That much is pretty well clear to me at this point. Alright. Should be one more of these after I kill this guy. Smack. All right. What have we here? I don't know. Looks like a crown, maybe? Well, no, it wasn't headgear. Maybe it was a bracelet?
Doesn't look like a bracelet either. Was it an amulet? No. A ring? Definitely a... No, I don't think it was a ring. What the hell did I just pick up? I guess I should look at my items. Maybe it was a usable item that I haven't seen yet. Ah, oh, no, there it is. That was the Shining Gothic Shield. I'm kind of on a two-handed weapon deal, so I'm not going to be too thrilled about that. But, let's look at our creature book. See what those were. Hell Warrior. We're at 142 of 150 enemies. Hell Warrior. Hell Warrior. Approaches slowly and attacks with two-handed sword. Extremely strong defense. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to the next platform. I can't tell which is which, unfortunately. But this goes back to the undead layer where uh, we fought King Edward and could have come in this direction, so we know that. It's good. One more of those guys can theoretically spawn. I'm not sure we're going to have that. I think this is the one with the warp. Yep. Okay. But I have my bearings now. So if we go west from here, we'll get to the next platform. bad guys. Oh, hi. Your size is intimidating. Smack. That's one down of whatever these things are. And now we have a bone wolf. Smack. All right, he dropped a spirit book. Should be two more of the big things and one more bone wolf. There's one of the big things. A ring. Let's see what kind of ring. Let's see if maybe it's one I'm actually compelled to swap out. I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, so there's my holy ring of priest. The ring of desire. What spell does that give me? Ooh, interesting. Looks like a poison ring. I'm gonna use my soul ring. Cleansing ray. 
Just kind of stick with that for the moment. But there should be one more bone wolf and one more of the big things on here. And by the way, let's look up the big things. A Doriwi. We're at 143 of 150. Giant hunched demon moves slowly and attacks with long whip-like arms. Scream also paralyzes enemies. All right. Let's just look around on here. I mean, if it doesn't spawn, it doesn't spawn. Okay. Let's head back to the last platform and then turn north. Be on the lookout for another Hell Warrior. Alright, there should be four Dory Wee and a chest on this final platform before the boss. There's one. Three more. There's one. Smack. Two. All right, at least one of them spawned. Where is it? I hear it. Hi. All right, one more after you. And then this platform is clear. All right. Should be one more. I hear it. It spawned. There it is. Awesome. Hey, it dropped a bracelet. Let's check that out. What did you give me, boyo? The Guardian Bracelet. That's interesting. I'd rather keep my movement bracelets, but that could be handy. Alright, so let's check the stone chest. This is a set item. This will be the Gothic Shield of Balance. Again, I kind of like my two-handed swords, but in this game. But there's the Gothic Shield of Balance. Okay. That's it for this platform. Let's go back to the Dory Wee Bone Wolf platform just to see if they feel like actually spawning or not. We could also get the fourth Hell Warrior on this platform at any time. But if not, I'm not that worried at this point. It's like. I could boost my stats that little bit higher before the final boss, but who cares? Really. Not enough to just trek back and forth in this... dark domain with all of its... invitations to fall deaths. Alright. 
Oh, looks like we're gonna go fight Hallow Mage now. So this is the platform we warped in on. Hallow Mage is up that staircase. He also has five minions. So I will want to try to bait the minions to me first. What I don't want to do is aggro Hallow Mage. He's right there. That's Hallow Mage. I see him. I think that's actually who I hear, too. Yep. I got too close to him. There they are. Come on over. Little shit. There are five of these things that can spawn in during this fight. I don't want to aggro Hallow Mage, I really don't. Come on over. Smack. Smack. Alright, let's try to retreat a little further. Alright, that's one down, four to go. He dropped something. Let's see what. It was definitely like e either a bastard sword or a long sword. Maybe a broad... Oh, it was just a generic broadsword. Are you kidding me? That's pretty lame. Oh well. It dropped a broadsword. Um, the next one is like right there at the Hallow Mage. Oh, but I'm able to bait it out. That's what's important. Get out here. Get out here, dick. Smack. Alright, three more. There, of course, is yet another. It's good if he starts swinging. Because if he starts swinging, that means I've aggroed him and he's going to come at me. I really don't want to take an unanswered hit. That's not really okay with me. Alright. In theory, two more of those. In practice, that seems like it might be the last one. Nope. I hear it. Where is it? I see it over there. Right, let's bait it out. Same as the first three. Oh, thank goodness.
Come on. Smack. All right, my deadly great sword's nearly done. Sounds like the fifth one spawned. But we got a weapon drop. If my dude wants to pick it up ever, that'd be great. All right. Let's see what that was. Ooh, a swift greatsword. Big, big critical plus. Are you kidding me? What could be better? All right, there's the last one. Let's bring him in. Let's rejoice in the swift greatsword, which may be my favorite weapon for the last boss anyway. A greatsword that's specifically about speed and critical plus? Don't mind if I do. Alright, I really need you to quit wasting my fucking time and come over here, duder. It'd also be great if the game wouldn't lag. Just personal preference, really. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, fellas, for a truly awesome weapon. All right, that's it for them. So let's look at the creature book before we go engage the Hallow Mage, the sixth and final high demon. That's a blood bone. Skeleton warrior stained red with blood. Surrounded by a curse field, it attacks with its sharp sword. And Hallow Mage. Ruler of Death World. He paralyzes his enemies and then orders the blood bones to attack them. Alright, so what we want to do with this guy... It's pretty basic. We're going to arm our warrior bow, and we're just going to gun him down. We do have to start the fight and let him talk to us, unfortunately. Look at him. He's big. If you wish to save humanity so badly, then you should meet the king. But to do that, <laughs> first you must defeat me. Doesn't sound so hard. We just need to stay out of his AoE field. Oh, come on. All right, my bow broke. Let's let's try the bow gun. We haven't used it yet, have we? It's got pretty good speed. Got him. You have great power. Go and meet the king. Test your power on him. <laughs> okay. That's it for the death world. Let's go see. He, he didn't drop anything. But we can find a couple of soul pods in here. I'm going to equip my uh, swift greatsword again. I think that's probably going to be my favorite weapon 
for the end bosses anyway. We'll make one last trip back to the smithy and Kuhn trader. Yeah, I mean, he died over here, and I don't see a drop anywhere. So, there is another soul pod on this platform. Let's track it down. Well, first, let's use the one we just picked up. 53 points, my goodness, okay. 355 is my lowest. Next lowest is 357. Nope, just kidding. 340 is my lowest. I'm glad I spotted that. Let's take it to 357. Okay, now my 357s need to get to a 362. Then there's a 365. And then I think the next highest is 378, and we're not going to get to that. Fun, okay. Oh, and killing him unsealed my magic. That's good, too. All right. Let's get that last soul pod. Go ahead and use it. All right. Lovely. Okay. Now he just hangs out in here, there's no obvious way forward, but the death world's now clear. And we are going in, I'm going to do my last little bit of prep in this video. Let's take the warp back to the dark castle lair. We can head through here back out to the beast world the same way we always came in. Get in there. There you go. Alright, let's visit the smithy for the final time. Go ahead and use one of my healing potions.
Okay. I don't recall if I have any cunes left or not. I think I've got the gear I want equipped already. If you've got no business with me, go away. I must still be out of cunes. So, let's use a Let's use a healing potion. Let's go ahead and use a magic potion as well. Let's just get both of those all the way to full. Let's save. This save point's just fine. And we're going to head down to the void. Now, I was wrong. We can't... Uh, Earlier when I mentioned that we could skip everything and go to the final boss if we wanted to, uh, that was wrong. I, I, I was lying. We could go to the void, but I'll show you when I actually warp into there what it's like if you haven't actually killed all six of the high demons in the other regions. So... From the Death World platforms, we can head down here to this warp stone leading into the void. So you see those six golden balls? Each one has one of the world symbols on it. Those appear inside that face as you kill the six high demons. So if you haven't killed all six, if you walk up and interact with the face, it just warps you back out to the tower. Of course, we have killed all six, so when we come back for the Shadow Tower finale, when we interact with that face, it'll just open like a door and we can proceed to the final bosses. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are too. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode, when we cleared off World 6 out of 6 and beat the Hallow Mage, I hope you'll give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel. If you want to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. That link is in the video description. And if you want to support me or the channel, the best way apart from liking and subscribing is through my Patreon page. That link is also in the video description. Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they would like to see played on the channel. That slot's currently occupied by Mass Effect. Once a game is chosen, I play it through to the end, then I have my supporters choose another one. Uh, if you want to get involved in that process, you have that option. Regardless, I really do appreciate you watching. I'm grateful for your time and attention. I hope you have a great day, and, uh, you know, in keeping with the alternating schedule, another Mass Effect is next, and the Shadow Tower finale will be in uh, two days, as long as this doesn't air on a Friday or something. Anyway, have a great day. See you soon. Bye.